kingdom of Cambodia in the heart of Southeast Asia between Thailand and Vietnam, a land of beauty, violence, and ancient martial art called Pukatao. The ancient fighting art of the mysterious Angkor Wat that combines elements of kickboxing, grappling, and weapons training. It's an art that dates back centuries. Labokatao, an ancient Cambodian martial art, has been officially inscribed on UNESCO's representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. It's a very traditional ancient arts of Cambodia and it's been uh, like thousand years ago. You can see on a card wall at the Angkor Wat and the other temples in Siem Reap province that they uh, proved that there was a martial art back then and it, it, it was a very deadly technique and most of the techniques we use kind of like um, avatar technique and animals. Katao is one of the oldest existing combat systems in the world and it was used by the Enko army thousands of years ago and literally means smash the tiger or the lion. my life so much. I was a very like weak girl when I was young. Once I took this martial art, it's changed my thought, it changed my speed of walking and uh, changed my, my whole life to become a better person. Sam is a movie star, an MMA fighter, and teaches martial arts at Cambodia's police academy. The real-life Raya and the Dragon was born in refugee camp and has a life story that is just amazing as an animated character. When I become a martial artist, I now have a name and I can fight and I didn't expect that I could involve in a movie or something like that. You never know, you never see. But really, martial art really changed your thought and your mind. Not just about fighting, it's about the thoughts. Self-esteem, confident. Oh, it's really completely changed. It's it's beautiful. It teaches you how to respect other people. It's sometimes like when you are in, in, in a battle and then you got beat up and you're like, oh man, I can't breathe. I'm running out of guns. I'm gonna die. Blah, blah, blah. And then it teaches you that can you reach a limit when I face in a very hard time, struggling. Give up. Cambodia is also known for Kung Khmer, a martial art that has its origins to Khmer Empire. It's a combat sport and it shares many similarities with Muay Thai, but it has its own deep and rich history. Back in a genocide time, Pol Pot regime, all masters were killed, and one of, like, one of my grandmasters almost got killed too. Well, some people they had to lie when they ask question, where you come, do you know martial arts, something like that. So they had to lie, said I don't know, to save themselves. 
but most of them were killed. And uh, because of that regime, now back in the days when my grandmaster tried to preserve the culture and bring it back to life in um, 2006, he traveled each province to ask those elders if they still know some move and know some, you know, ancient Bokatao move. They all said no. Because why? They didn't know them. They said if they tell the truth, then they know what will go on. So it's still stuck in their mind. I had to sit there, convince them time by time, so then um, thinking of making back to life, teach to the next generation, or otherwise it's gonna be gone forever and we're gonna lose our identity. So, if without my grandmaster's son scene, then I don't know where Bokatao coming from and I don't, maybe probably I don't even hear the name and probably I don't have this day. Bukatur is a martial art that was created by the ancient Khmer people to defend themselves and to fight wild animals and every single part of the body can be used as a weapon. Most of the technique are like grappling and you know kind of like break arms and legs or something like that and the weapon in our body is used mostly elbow, knee, and everything. Also, uh, grappling on the ground as well. and it's connected to spirits and all that stuff. This martial art is kind of like complete martial arts of Cambodia. Kutur is more than just a combat technique. It's a symbol of Cambodian culture and identity. As it continues to grow in popularity, it is important that we continue to support and to promote this unique and valuable art.